Good afternoon, YouTuber subscribers and friends and like. It's Grant coming at you from Benson, Arizona. There's been some updates. Um, I was trying to take the, my Geo, my 93 Geo Metro Convertible, down to Texas because Arizona has emissions that I totally forget, spaced. Didn't think of because I'm not an Arizona resident. So I couldn't get the car sold in Arizona where I brought it down to. But I was t bringing it to Texas to try to sell it there where it don't have emissions. And it decided to blow the engine, you know, blow the motor out in uh, Wilcox, Arizona. And then I, today I hitchhiked back uh, west 40 miles to Benson, Arizona. Tomorrow I'm going to take the Amtrak from Benson up to Phoenix and then call Worldwide and see what they got around Phoenix if they don't have anything. Then I'm probably going to get on Frontier and fly over to Miami, Florida just because it's better weathered. Worldwide's been the slowest it's had in record years or something, they said. So it's just because of the holiday season in December. So anyway, occasionally I do an inventory of what all I pack as a transporter. And this is the latest version of trying to get as light as possible on the road and only take what I need to have with me. And I just wanted to go over it with you a little bit. So that you, if you're coming out on the road as a transporter, kind of know what to go with. And my, my setup's going to be different than yours, you know, of course, because I have, like, DoorDash and stuff that I do extra that you may or may not do. But a couple pairs of fresh underwear because you always want to keep that part fresh so you smell good. I have a drawstring bag. This comes in handy a lot uh, in various different places. It's just an easy, it's kind of like a junk drawer. It just has the one, well, it has a pocket within it. You can you can actually fold it down into a small little fist size pocket thing and pack it away as a packing thing if you want to. But kind of use it as a drunk door, and I keep all my loose stuff in it because it's easy to throw it in there and then dump it back out on a table like that if I need to get to something or whatever. So I keep my toiletries in it. This is a stowaway bag from Eddie Bauer. They're both Eddie Bauer and stowaway bag. By that I mean the same thing. They have a pocket here that this whole bag will fold into into a little fist sized deal to carry just the bag by itself empty the same as that draw bag and I started packing those instead of like a, a regular durable itty bower backpack or or a, um, a luggage roller or anything like that because they are so small the idea behind it is whenever I do go to fly and I want to be cheap and take frontier or whatnot I can wear all the clothes I can put all those little things in the pockets in these clothes because these clothes Every all the clothes that I buy always have zipper pockets. If I wear the side pockets, everything I make sure that they have zipper pockets. And then also, you know, they say Eddie Bauer on, so it looks like I have money on the road because you get treated better when you look like you have money, whether you do or not. In places like you can hang out in hotel lobbies and whatnot, and hang out at the airport, and people nobody really looks at you compared to the next guy down the street. That like the bums are trying to kick out of the airport or whatever, they pass you by because you look like you have money. And it really comes in handy on the road, making yourself look that way, clean yourself up, make yourself look like you have money. But anyway, all my stuff tries to be brand name, and then I try to make sure they all have zipper pockets. For that reason, if I ever have to fly or condense everything, I can shove all that little small stuff into these zipper pockets, worn on me, and then I can compress those bags down into nothing. Currently, I have a couple extra duffel bags on me that I may or may not keep. They're just kind of extras at the moment. Nice to throw everything into a bigger duffel bag if I need it. But I might end up throwing it away. I don't know yet. They're cheap Walmart bags. They're like 10 or 20 bucks a piece. They're not like my Eddie Bowers that are, I think, 200 bucks a piece on the regular backpacks. Not the stowaways. The stowaways are only about 40. But just thought I'd show you everything. If you can keep your neck warm at night, a lot of times you'd be amazed what you can get away with sleeping in the back of a truck if you have your neck warm. You know, I don't have my hitchhiking sleeping bag with me at the moment, but I'm because I forgot to get it put in here, but didn't want to pack it at the moment either because the world light's so slow. I don't know how often I'm going to work, but just sleeping in the back of trucks, you'd be amazed how warm you stay if you just keep your neck warm. So I always have a neck gaiter on me because you can use it for a lot of different things. You can use it as a snot rag if you want to, you know, to clean your snot or you can use it to but if people that have longer hair can tie their hair up with it you can use it as a beanie in emergency you can use it as your neck warmer of course scarf to keep your neck warm 
I that that hat kind of looks a little bit homeless, so I only use it at night in the truck when I'm by myself. Nobody sees me, but I keep it with me because that is one of the warmest top beanie hats I've ever had. That thing is, you put it on, and I can't believe how warm it keeps your head. So that that guaranteed itself a spot on my inventory list just from, and I can't believe it because it's got all sorts of holes and stuff in it. It's homemade, sewn in from yarn or whatnot, but man, that thing is warm. Emergency flashlight, just so at night in the truck you can look around, see what you need to get without having to get to the phones. Uh, Airplane 312 supplied me with that one, and it's coming handy a few times. But just put some Velcro on it so it sticks, doesn't roll around on me. I have headphones, Bluetooth. They stay charged pretty good, and then I have backup earbuds. These for, are for on the subway or anywhere you don't want to talk to people lower in people you know your gangsters and blah 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 they're trying to steal your bag and all that you don't want to talk to those kind of people in the subway so you put this on and it just screams i'm busy don't don't, don't talk to me kind of deal and then it comes in handy in hotel lobbies and stuff like that when you're wearing nice clothes and security's walking around and whatnot you can if you're wearing this on top of with the nice clothes they tend to leave you alone because it just screams leave me alone so to speak and it gets too much of imposition for them to come up and try to get you to take your earphones down so they can talk to you recently i've had this power pack in the back for a while but the geo itself made me go and get a jumper pack from walmart it was about 50 bucks about the same as this black one so i strapped them together but this one has a flashlight on the back of it for emergencies and it also has the car plug which is in my storage that you can jump a battery for a car on and i forgot to grab it I was going to keep it with me, but I boo-booed on that once. So next time I go to my store, my new storage in Phoenix, I'll have to grab it up. Uh, just some basic uh, markers and pens and stuff like that. Your toiletries. Always try to keep like a fork and a spoon in the plastic. Because you never know when you're ordering DoorDash or whatever. Half the time they don't bring you a fork. This works for uh, foot. I put it in my foot power in my shoes. And it keeps your stench from your feet from being in shoes all the time down that's my personal plates for my geo because the geo just blew up and i'm going to take back my storage sometime but this is like a placeholder at the moment for the commercial plate and decal that i have from worldwide i take a i took a picture of it because with worldwide i don't have to use the plates and decals on the trucks that we want run for ptr because we're uh, part of their company or something so we get around it the only time you have to use your transporting plates and whatnot is if you're driving you're a third party have nothing to do with that company other than transporting their vehicle then you need to have the commercial plate decal but you can also pretty much get away with printing that off temporarily for you know on, on paper for that run as long as you have it displayed that's all that matters i kept what was the registration and insurance cover for the geo and I'm gonna put my spray, my deodorant spray, uh, in it because it blew up in my backpack today. Got all over everything. Everything smells pretty now, but might have to wash my coat. But anyway, uh, I always have deodorant that smells good, so it kind of doubles as cologne because you always want to make yourself smell better. You want to keep shaved, make yourself smell better, keep fresh underwear, and you know, have name brand stuff and then people on the road tend to not look at you twice. I have the high visibility vest because every now and then I go out to a wind and solar farm and they require that everybody that's out there on foot for safety reasons has a high visibility vest. So for work I have it. Uh, I have my classic transport hat because again I can hang out in truck stop lounges and people don't look twice at you. Once they read classic transport on it they just let you go because they believe you're a truck driver or the van driver or whatever. I have both the pizza bag for DoorDash and the regular DoorDash bag because I was using that with my Geo. And then occasionally when I get the car rentals for Enterprise Car Rental and I have an extra day trying to get to a uh, worldwide truck. So each day that I rent a car, uh, rental car cost me 50 bucks plus whatever gas that I'm using that day. And so I use DoorDash to kind of counter that and I go out and get my... 50 bucks back and I get my 30 bucks for food for that day so it doesn't cost me anything to use it that day and it's just a little extra hobby job you know it never hurts to have another backup job just in case that is on the same lines of being self-employed independent contractor just like with worldwide transporting 
I kept my Synergy RV Transports shirt for the same reason. Then I kept my classic transport cap hat and that's so that I can go into the truck lounges or hang out anywhere where there's RVs and stuff like that and you fit right in. So it's worth my time to keep this shirt in good condition and going because again it screams you have money, you work for a living and you fit right in versus on the bench at like train stations and Amtrak, you know, Amtrak train, train, train stations and buses and airports and anywhere public like that. Bums tend to hang out there and try to sleep overnight and I might be, might be trying to crash and sleep overnight there also because it's free on occasion. You know, it's not the greatest night's sleep, but it's free. And so in order to not get kicked out overnight, it helps to have stuff that says you're working. So I just thought I'd make a video of kind of what all I pack. A pair of sunglasses that are prescription, pair of regular glasses because at night I need the regular glasses. Daytime I need the permanent sunglasses because windshields for photo gray glasses, one of those photo gray will turn dark on its own or at night it'll be clear. But behind a windshield when you're driving, it doesn't turn dark and so I have a dedicated sunglasses for that. Of course glasses cleaner in between those that I clean those with. You can also use the glasses cleaner to clean your phones and so on. I got this a, few, a while back. I think it was on Amazon. This thing has come in handy a lot because you can plug it in the truck and in the back you can plug it into an outlet. It doesn't charge as fast as a Nintendo Switch charger, which I owe my brother big time for finding this out. He got me as a birthday present, he got me a Nintendo Switch, which I've used it off and on, but I make way more use of the charger because this thing will charge a phone in an hour flat. Versus this takes about two hours, two and a half hours to get your phone charged. And when I have two phones, the one I'm using for this video and that phone, it takes a while to charge stuff. This, you could sneak into an outlet anywhere, let it charge and walk away and, you know, be across the room and keep an eye on it so people don't come by and steal it or anything. But you can hide this about any kind of outlet anywhere, charge it for a while, and it will charge your phone once. So I always have it on me because that's that handy. Um, if you pull up in a bank parking lot at night and I'm in the truck and for some reason I don't want to use the truck or maybe the truck don't have... A power source or something most of the new ones always do but just in case if i had a really old one that the power source wasn't working i could go to a bank outdoor uh banks and doctor's offices and stuff i learned this from when i was purposely homeless in 2019 traveling around the country they have outlets because they have a landscaping crew that comes around and keeps the all the landscaping around their building nice and pretty a couple times a week and they have to plug their machinery into somewhere and so they provide them with outdoor outlets that are not locked and then at night when the business is closed you go up there and plug this in let it charge for an hour while you're hanging out in the chart in the truck watching it and it's handy it's the only thing that sucks is i tried plugging this in and then it'll also charge stuff and charge itself as it's going and it's fine it'll do that with phones but it won't do that with the big back battery pack it will do it but they let's just say it doesn't charge anything it like forces this one not to charge very well and it forces these two not to charge very well if you plug them in together so that's the only downside it will charge my phone at the same time as it's charging itself but it won't do the battery because they're just too big but that is why i have this the c cord for my phones and then i use this which is a regular usb to charge my headphones and my earbuds and that dedicate it to those battery packs I just use two, two, two USB cords on that and dedicate it to charging that power pack. For that reason, because I've discovered that they don't work together, it'd be nice if I could only have to use the one to charge that and not have to pack three different things, but overall it helps this way. So that's my inventory, you know, your basic toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, uh, baby powder. I use the scissors sometimes to remove tape and to cut off zip ties. Right now I don't have zip ties, but I should have a couple pairs of zip ties with me because you never know where zip ties are going to come in handy trying to zip tie a plate on or a piece of equipment hanging off a truck or something. So I usually have cable ties on me too, which I recommend that you have as a transporter. But I don't have it at the moment. And I usually also have uh, auto painting tape, like house paint tape, but it's like auto tape that you use to cut stuff off so that when you're going to paint in a car you're not covering certain sections it's blue tape 
I usually have that on me too, but I don't have it at the moment. But it would, I would use that to tape up, not the plates, but to tape up the decals. And then I usually have the screws and bolts, the bolt and nut, I mean, to screw the plates on. But again, don't have it at the moment because I kind of tried to go as light as I could this time around because Worldwide doesn't really require it. When we drive for PTR, which is Premier Truck Rental, their truck's already plated and they don't want us switching the plates back and forth and around and stuff because their DOT number matches their plates. And so I've never, I, I think I used Worldwide's plate one time the entire time I've, I've worked for them. So it's just, I, I don't see the point in packing it around when you very rarely ever use it. The one time that I need to use it, I can get away with printing it off at the library because I have it saved as a PDF that you can print off and display it enough for that one run and be legal enough. All that's required is that you display a valid plate. It doesn't have to actually be the physical plate in terms, they only give that exemption for commercial trucks in transporting because you're only going from point A to point B. They let you have that exemption, but they obviously don't let everybody run that way. But if you had to, you could just explain to a cop, you know, that lost your plate or whatever, and you have a picture of it. And I don't see the point of packing plates around, and I wouldn't be packing those plates around right there had I not just taken them off the geo today when the geo blew up the other day. Otherwise, I would not be packing that around. But for now, for this video, sake of this video, we'll just use that as a placeholder for the real commercial plates for your work and your decals that go on your side and side doors that display your DOT number for your business for your company but that's what I'll all I pack with me a couple pairs of hats that beanie's that's really warm that I said you know my wallet's over there that's the bare basics and when you get it all on there it's probably I don't know I'm gonna weigh it and I might make a video on it but if I find a scale at a at the airport they have scales for bags and I might put my bag down on it and see but I bet you I'm somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds, which ain't, ain't bad at all. Probably even less than that. Because when I'm at the airport, most likely I'll be wearing all that. Because when I take the cheap flights like Frontier, which I might do to go to Miami, most likely I'm going to wear all that, put it all in the zipper pockets, like I said before, and then put all those little bags in that little drawstring bag, including all that stuff in that drawstring bag, and then that will be the size that you need for a personal item that goes underneath the seat in front of you on the plane and then they don't charge you. Then of course you get off the plane and you take it out and put it all in a duffel, strip down, you know, because it'll be nice and warm in Miami and everything goes back in the bag. But the general idea is this gives you the flexibility and when it's colder, you have stuff that's lightweight, but I can layer up. I have a t-shirt and a fleece and a raincoat shell, you know, and it's very light clothing you should have heavier clothing than this and you should have i should have that in my hikers my hitchhikers sleeping bag thing that i have that was on uh, like 150 bucks when i bought it but it's one of the best sleeping bags i've ever ever used and owned i've showed it in the previous video but for now because of the fact that i don't think i'm gonna get much work the next month and i'm only gonna request pretty much driving around worldwide trucks in in uh, Florida and staying where it's warmer because I just don't see the point in going and freezing ass when they don't have enough work so I will run trucks backwards and forwards up and down the Florida coast and be totally fine with that and the setup for that but I'm not going to go into the deep snowy states like Pennsylvania and South Dakota and stuff like that I'm just not going to do it because they can't get me back out there's no point in doing it at the moment but according to them, after uh, when January 1st comes around, they'll get busy again after the holidays. So I'm just kind of biding my time at the moment. That's why I was hanging out in my geo for the last couple weeks. And that's why I haven't done a video, because I was just car camping in my geo. But then I tried to sell the geo, and then it blew up on me, and here we are. But anyway, this video is getting pretty long. Like and subscribe. I hope you learned something out of this. Kind of, you know, if you're going to be a transporter in the future, kind of what you should pack with you and why and whatnot. I have a bunch of power packs for my phones, and I have two phones because I'm on the phones all the time. Um, when I'm in the trucks, and it's not as required that I need those power packs. But when I'm on foot, it's handy to have them because you just... A lot of these bus stations and stuff are taking their outlets out on purpose to try to keep bums from staying in there. 
And so you want to have power for your phones, and that's also why I have two phones. It's so I can have one phone off and the other phone I'm using and rotate them. You know, one's charging and one's being used. And I pay for service on both. That costs me like 78 bucks a month for two phones service, but it's more than coming handy. It gives me so much data, I don't even have to get on other public Wi-Fi or nothing. I can keep everything safe. But anyway, like and subscribe, leave comments. I hope you got some good information out of this video, and I'll see you on the flip. Peace.